Hey, what's up? This is Leandro Bigetti from LittleAlchemist.io and today we're gonna learn about the pipe operator. So the pipe operator in Elixir, it takes whatever is the output of your function on the left and passes in as the first argument to the function on the right. This means that whatever is coming out of your first function goes into your second function as the first argument. And you can do this multiple times cascading the pipe operator. And this can improve a lot the readability of your code. Let's see it in action. So let's say I have this string here coming in this variable input, right? The first two are repeated. So what I want to do is I want to put everything to lowercase and I want then to make it into a list and remove the duplicates, right? Three steps. So firstly, let's put everything to lowercase and you do this with the string down case. And then pass that into a string split, passing in the comma as the separator. Well, that didn't work because the default separator for the split is a space. So let's put in it as the second argument, the comma, to so come here and fix this by putting in a comma. All right, fine. That worked. Now I want to remove the duplicates. So whatever this is getting, I'm going to put here enum.unique. And that gives us what we want to see. However, this line here, this isn't very readable, is it? There's a couple of problems with this. Primarily is that you have to go from the left to the right and then come to right to left again inside out and kind of imagining what's coming out of what into where. And here, for instance, when you have comma and other stuff, it's, it's hard to see what is the argument of what, right? So let's elixirize this. So we're gonna get our input and then down case it again, right? But now we're gonna pass whatever is out of this into whatever is next that we wanna do, which in this case is split by the comma. And here, all I'm gonna do is pass in the second argument of this function, which is the comma, right? But you have to imagine here that whatever is coming out of, of this down case input function is going to go into string split as the first argument. So in practice is what I'm doing is putting the output here, if we forget about the rest of it, and then put in the second argument, right? And you'll see that if I do this, it functions correctly. So what we do next is get this output into the enum.unique. And this, my friends, is the pipe operator. Now, I don't know about you, but I think this is a lot more readable than what we had before, which is this, right? Compare it for a bit and see what you think. Some best practices to keep in mind is that if you're just gonna do one function call, it probably is not that great of a deal to do piping because you're just doing one thing and piping is more about having a series of things done together, right? So if, if for example, you're just going to do um, the down case, then it, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. The second thing is that there's something you could have done better here, which is putting whatever you're starting with as the first element of your pipeline. That's, that's how it's usually called a pipeline, right? And that just makes things a little bit more clear. So what I could have done instead here is this. So this version would be a, a bit more of a best practices uh, kind of thing. And I, we're doing this with string, but this is general, uh, generally a good idea to put whatever you're starting with as a first element and then the others are a series of transformation. Another thing you might want to do if you're doing this on a text edit or not here on IEX is align everything on top of each other. So that actually looks more like a pipeline. For example, this is what it would look like. Secret ingredient. 
one last tip is to, if you're having trouble in your pipeline or you're just not certain whatever the hell is happening in each step, you can put a IA, IO inspect in the middle of your pipeline and IO spec is just going to receive whatever it's coming and pass on to the next one. So it's kind of like a, an observer thing in, in the middle that you can just put whatever you want. So for example, here we could put in input and string dot down case. Let's say I don't know what's happening at this point. So what you could do is this. And then just continue to whatever you're going to do next. So you're going to see that this line here is the inspect at whatever point it is, in this case, right after the down case function. One thing you can do to make this easier is put a label in the inspect like this. Hi. And then it's going to say here whatever it is, because if you have multiple, it can start to get confusing. All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, take care and happy brewing.